Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to change out your taillights on a 2015 Jeep Rubicon. We're going to utilize our black LED taillights. These fit all models from 07 to current models, um, all the way up through the model range. So let's unbox them and get started. Okay, when you receive your shipment, they'll come in this white box. You'll just want to open them. I use a razor blade. You always want to give them a thorough inspection. As you can see, they are bubble wrapped and they do have the styrofoam protection on the corners in case the boxes drop. That way they don't crack or anything. So you can just pull these out, set those off to the side. Pull these out. Set that off to the side. Now we have the two tail lights. What you want to do is you want to just unbox, unbag them. like this. Then you want to take a look at the back. So you'll notice you have a resistor with a double-sided 3M tape. This is all pre-wired. It is plug and play. So this is your main harness and uh, that's the light. Both of them are the same. One for driver, one for passenger. Also in the box, you have our installation instructions that will come with it. If this video will go through all the steps that are on this page, we'll be done shortly. Let's go over some tools we need real quick. So you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Now you can do a standard one like this, or if you have a drill and an attachment for a Phillips head, that's all you'll need. The other is a rag and some denatured alcohol or other cleaner to clean off any dirt that may be there so you can attach the resistor to the vehicle. Okay, now let's get started on the installation of these taillights on the Jeep. Here we are at our 2015 Jeep. We're gonna remove these taillights by removing this screw right here and this screw right here. That'll allow us to take the taillight off of the vehicle. We're gonna use our drill with the Phillips screw tip and remove these. Set that off to the side. Move to the top one. Now that that one's out, we can remove the tail light. You wanna do this by pulling straight out and wiggling so it unlatches from the vehicle. This is gonna be your main harness, so you disconnect this by pressing down on here and pulling directly out. Okay, anytime you're sticking resistors to your vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to use a denatured alcohol or equivalent solvent to clean any dirt that may be on the vehicle so the resistor sticks to the vehicle properly. So, very easy to do, you just dump it on your rag. A good amount, set the can off to the side and just wipe down wherever you want to mount your resistor to. On the Jeep, I like to mount our resistor right here on this edge of sheet metal. So now that I have solvent on here, I'm just gonna go ahead and reach in there and give it a good wipe down. Okay, so here we have our tail light. This is our resistor that we spoke about. All you wanna do is peel off the protective layer, like so, so we can stick it to the vehicle. Once you've removed the protective layer on the 3M tape, you're just gonna come right in here and stick this down, and give it a good squeeze and now it's stuck to the vehicle. Now you can proceed with mounting your taillight. Okay, now that we're ready to plug in our taillights, you just grab the stock connector. This is the one that we disconnected from the stock light earlier. And you just slide it right in until it snaps. Once it's snapped, you're done, and now you can mount the taillight. Okay, now once you have the taillight, as you can see, it moves around a little bit. Once you have this on the vehicle, you take your screws and you just go ahead and start them. That way you know everything's lined up. Top and bottom. Now, I take my drill, put it in the tighten position and drill these, screw them back in. You want to go slow with it, that way you don't over tighten and crack the plastic.
And there you go. Now we can check the functions and make sure everything's working properly.